This video documents the removal of curing seal from hard trowel concrete. This is a slab that's measuring between a 7 8 on the Mohs test, and the curing seal is very much intact and also very resistant to the grinding that's being attempted. A closer look shows that the curing compound is acting more like a sealer or a coating than simply a curing aid. Silica sand is used to help the diamonds stay sharp as they attempt to cut through that curing seal and provide a CSP2 to the surface of the concrete. It doesn't take very much silica sand to help the diamonds, approximately 50 pounds will work for about a thousand feet. And then sprayed over the top of that silica sand is just a water mist from a pump up sprayer. The water is simply there just to give the silica sand some weight. It holds the sand in place until the diamonds have a chance to go across it and then of course be sharpened and cleaned by that sand. Though the production is not as fast as if the floor was unsealed, the nice part about using the sand and the water rather than using different segments is a standard medium bond will work just fine on a floor like this. In other words, the silica sand and water make those diamonds more effective than if they were run by themselves. And that's about it. Diamond grinding to provide a CSP2 after removing curing seal.